All right, guys. Uh, what we're going to talk about now is uh, sort of an overview of draw stroke, uh, putting draw stroke into historical context. We're going to look at the draw stroke as taught at API, American Pistol Institute at Gunsight, the original private sector training school in the United States, uh, and sort of the more modern or more recent variations on uh, the way the way draw stroke is taught these days, and the way I teach draw stroke in particular. Draw stroke as taught at Gunsight was a five count maneuver. It consisted of the support hand coming down to the belt buckle level. Fingertips pointing forward, a full grip acquired on the holstered gun. That was identified as a grip. Following grip, you had clear, which was the, holster, the muzzle of the gun clearing the holster. That was clear. At that point, the gun came no higher, and you began advancing the gun to the support hand. <coughs> you had click. Again, click was uh, most, of the, most of the trainers we know with the 1911 pistol. Click was the safety going off. So it was draw, clear, click, the safety going off, smack. The gun hand be driven to the support hand in, the, in a low ready position. The isometric tension that was part of the Weaver platform, the Weaver grip and stance, being obtained. And then up, look at the front sight, and press the trigger. So, draw stroke at gun sight, the original, you know, the way draw stroke was originally taught was again, grip, clear, click, smack, up, look, press. Grip, clear, click, smack, up, look, press. This draw stroke has the gun coming away from the body, you know, being driven to low ready, and then raised to the target. The, the issue that I have with this, as you've seen in some of the other videos where I've talked about somebody getting in between the wrist and the shoulder, the gun has to come off the body and lift it up. You have to have space to do this, and from a weapon retention perspective, physically fighting over the gun, you have less control of the pistol than you do if the gun is closer to the body. But that was the original draw stroke uh, as taught at gun sight. And there are a number of people that still use that draw stroke or you know, small variations on that draw stroke. Starting in the, I guess would be the late 80s, early 90s, you started seeing variations where the gun was, uh, the gun was not being driven down to low ready. The gun was being lifted up the body. Uh, what we now refer to as a four count draw stroke or a, uh, <clears throat> a more linear up and out draw stroke. Uh, as it was first taught by guys coming out of the modern technique background, still using a weaver stance, the gun would be driven, would be drawn up the body, pointed forward at what is now count two of draw stroke. They would have both hands on the pistol, and they would drive forward from there. Again, with the weaver stance, you had this isometric tension, this push-pull tension between the hands. The gun hand was uh, gun arm was locked primarily locked straight out, or slightly slightly flexed, and the support hand was pronouncedly bent. So when you were driving out to target from here, it made sense to orient the gun here and then drive forward. As we started shifting, or there was a shift towards what is known now as a modern isosceles, um, or a more symmetrical firing structure, um, that made less and less sense. <coughs> And the reason, uh, the, the reason so is the gun ends up in front of the dominant eye. The gun, in, gun ends up, no matter, where, no matter where it starts or how it gets there, if you're shooting from extension at eye level, the gun ends up in front of the eye that you were using on the sights, your primary eye. So to have the gun here, have both hands on the gun, push the gun out, and have to move the gun while the gun is moving forward to get in line with the eye is not terribly efficient. If um, facing the camera, to have, get two hands on the gun here, start pushing the gun out, and having to move that gun while you're driving the gun forward is not terribly efficient. A more efficient path of motion is to get the gun, to move the gun across the torso, get the gun in line with the dominant eye, and now it simply moves forward from there. So those are uh, some variations on draw stroke. The original gun sight draw stroke and a couple of, a couple of different takes or different tweaks on a four-count draw stroke.